Hey, this is another video in the playlist for the Lambert W function. If you haven't checked out the introduction where I explain the details of this, um, I'll put a link in the description. We'll also put a link to the full playlist in the description as well. So to start with, we have a problem on the board, x to the x to the fifth equals five. And this is a problem that I've done before without the Lambert W function. And what we'll do is just go through that really quick, how we did that with just algebra. So we take this expression and we're gonna raise both sides to the fifth power. So we'll have on the left side, x to the x to the fifth to the fifth, and five to the fifth. We'll just leave this this way. And we can distribute this power inside the parentheses. So rewriting this will have x to the fifth, x to the fifth, and then we can actually just break this up and write it as x to the fifth to x to the fifth, which equals five to the fifth. And now that we have the same base and the same exponent on both sides, we can just equate base to base, exponent to exponent, and say x to the fifth equals five. And therefore, we can say that x equals the fifth root of five. So this will be our answer by just algebraic manipulation. And so again, in this case, we don't need the Lambert W function, right? Because we were able to solve it just through algebra, regular algebra that we already know. But let's see if we can get the same answer using the Lambert W function just to test what we're doing and make sure everything's making sense. So to start with, we have these, for the Lambert W function, we have a few tools that I went over in the introduction video in the first of this series. We have, if we have our Lambert W function, we have an input x, e to the x, or something with the same value on the coefficient and exponent, we just get back an x. And similarly, we have this function, Lambert W function, e to the Lambert W function, will just give us back x. So we'll use this, and we primarily, we primarily want to use this one that's going to be the most helpful in solving these problems. Okay, so let's look how this works when we manipulate this equation. So what I'm going to do to start is we'll take uh, natural log on both sides. So we'll have natural log x to the x to the fifth equals natural log of five. We can then take this exponent and pull it out front here. So we'll have x to the fifth ln x equals ln five. And remember, we want to manipulate this into this form here where we can use this to simplify, but we've got nothing that actually has an e in it right now. So let's see if we can fix that. And what we can do is we can take, look at this term, and we can rewrite this as e ln x to the fifth. We'll have our ln of x out front, and then we'll have ln of five. And then take this five and bring it to the front of the ln. So we'll just have our five ln x. But again, trying to get to this form, we want this piece and this piece to be the same. And what we can do now is we can multiply by a five in front here. And let me rewrite this so it's very clear. We have here on the left side, five ln x equals e to the five ln x equals 5 ln 5. Then notice the coefficient here and the exponent here are the same. So we now we have this in exactly this format that we want with coefficient and exponent the same. So this is going to allow us to apply this Lambert W function right now. So then using that formula on the left side, we're going to have just 5 ln x equals Lambert W 5 ln then we can divide a five on both sides here. Okay, so this five is gonna cancel. Now just using the definition of natural log, we can solve for x and say x is gonna be equal to e w five ln five. And I'm gonna take this five as a one fifth and make it into a fifth root right here. It's pretty close right here, but what we can do is let's just look at this piece separately. So this is one case of the Lambert W function where we actually can find an exact solution. We can just manipulate this a little bit. We can rewrite this as ln five and then write our five as e to the ln five. And then you'll see that we have the same coefficient and exponent again. So we're in this format that we want. And so that means that this here is just gonna equal 
LN5, and then so we can take that and replace that back up here. So now we're writing this inside the radical, we have E to the LN5, but then we can just cancel this here, and we end up with our final solution, which is gonna be the fifth root of five. And we find that that's exactly what we wanted right here. So again, this is another problem for my quiz, Lambert W challenge. I have a similar quiz, quiz Lambert W function. Provide links to the, both those in the description. Also provide a link to the playlist and the introduction video. Hope you check that out. Thank you.